He got stuck on the tree next to it. <laughs> it's kind of funny looking. So, <laughs> just keeps making the falling sound. Hey, hey, everybody. It's Elucidus here, and we are in Eco. And uh, we were going to be running a game with uh, Haplo, but he can't connect. It's, there's some issue with uh, an antivirus or something. They said I contacted the uh, developers. They're working on a patch. They said we'll try again next week. So this is the map we were going to play on. I kind of started while I was waiting for him to set up um, and get connected and try all the troubleshooting. So we do have some things, nothing special. I got some basic stuff. I did. We installed some mods, and I do have... These are the three boxes that it installs. A universal crate. There is a block crate, which is like a um, stockpile. And then there is a chest, an item crate, which is just like a chest. The universal is like my favorite, but it has both a weight and a number of items. There's three levels to each. So we are, uh, we're just chilling. Where's the asteroid? There's an asteroid you have to destroy in 30 minutes. I did run around the map a little bit around nearby. 30, 30 days. So, you know, it's a standard map. The last one I yeah, I played once before and it was uh, double the size. I messed with the settings for that. But this is, uh, I do have more skill points. So I messed with the skill point rate gain. So there's that. So it's a fun little game. On the bottom left, you can see my food. I just started get eating fat. Uh, that's the yellow. But you have, you're supposed to keep a balanced food, a balanced diet. Um, and you got to cook everything and all that stuff. And you get better nutrition. Everything you do takes, see that little, takes a little bit of uh, calories away. And when your stomach's empty, you got to eat or you can't do anything else except for walk. Um, there's no water. I find that interesting. In a lot of survival games, there's no water. <laughs> Um, that's weird because water is more important than food. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, I can only pick up one shovel thing at a time. Can't pick up more than one unless you put it in a box. Let's see if there's anything. Now I'll put some more in a box. See, I could put a couple in there. It's supposed to be a stockpile, but I love the box. And then. Um, if I do that, now I'm holding three. If you see under carrying, it says three. So I could quickly go like this. You have to have it showing, otherwise it doesn't count. There you go. There's no hit points. There's no fall damage or anything like that. There's no oxygen yet. You can go swimming. You hit the control, you go into water. I'm actually walking on the water. If I, if I hold down, I'll walk on the bottom. As you can see, this is a lot of iron down here. So I'll have to come back if I run out. Um, it's weird that the sand always does this. That's that's not how <laughs> that's not how the world is built. It's not little plateaus like that. It's the, the sand is the top of a peak underwater. It's not. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> anyway, um, I got this cart. This cart does. It's like a, a mini universal box. Very mini. It only holds fifteen hundred pounds and six slots. Now, if you pick up like sand and stuff. It, it's like 25 sand is 1,500 pounds, which, you know, that may be real. I, I, I mean, realistic, I should say. It's not real. There's not, like, blocks of sand that I can scoop up. But, uh, yeah, I also learned that you can build a house into the ground. Um, <clears throat> so I built the ground with the... Basically, each building... Yeah, there's my little desk. It looks like I'm in a school, <laughs> school desk. But each building, you'll see, has a... A requirement wow oh that's used by this okay so yeah the masonry table uses 25 square meters or cubed meters sorry and the room is 256 and so far 83 is used which means I can still add some more buildings or I'm sorry uh, workstations once you're full you're full so I it would have taken a lot more wood to create the rest of this out of out of uh, out of wood and if I just created a tiny little home out of the wood I had, I, I wouldn't have been able to have all three of these buildings at the same time. I'd have to switch them out, which is what I ended up doing in the first one. And I realized you can just boom. So I think my plan for today will probably be do some research and advance some things and uh, build into this mountain right here, this little cliff. Because if you look, it just goes on for quite a bit. And it, if I go that way, it'll 
I could build a giant luxury resort out of that. Now, certain things need to have, um, like that. the house can't just be built into a cliff. Basically, it has to have these materials on the outside. So if, if the cliff is, if I dig into the cliff, I'd still have to put materials down, but it would mean I just have to put just enough materials down for that most expensive room. If you look, it also says, I think it'll probably be in this one maybe. Um, it should also say, nope, this is not one of them. The more advanced ones say it needs to be surrounded by like tier two materials. It'd be like 18 tier two materials or 36 tier two materials. And that's what it means is these, these things. This is tier one right here. Uh, I believe this is hewn logs. Hold on. <laughs> That was my daughter. She set off the uh, the fire alarm. She, we, we have a panel and she climbed up and hit the duress alarm for the fire. So that was fun. What was I doing? Oh yeah, we were talking about building with tier two materials and all that fun stuff. But I think if we still build in here, I mean, the room will exist and we can put up just enough materials we need to, to progress. So I think we're gonna start doing that. So I will be right back. Recording talk with half yeah, I just fell through the world I wanted to see this we jumped over a rock and there was no world there what? yeah no I jumped up here I jumped up over right here and there was nothing there there's another I don't need another elk I need a buffalo or a bison or, oh that must have been the one I shot earlier all right well give me my my guy all right, so I'm trying to unlock the, uh, there's the meteor looking at me, just laughing at me. I'm trying to unlock the uh, smeltery. For that, I need the, the tailor. For that, I need smelting. <laughs> or not smelting, uh, butchery. So there's a bison. That's the last thing I need. I think because I fell through the world, I came out the other side. Cause that's, I think it's making me go on, like, it's like 529 meters away to get back to my house and I was only right up over the hill. Yeah, I think I came out the other side. Or it's making me go all the way around, I don't know why. That's weird. Come on, wolf. Right, Oh, you turned away. I killed you anyway, right in the butt. What, what, in the butt? Anyway, real quick, I'm digging out a hole for the house, and I got lots of iron, so I'm gonna mine all that out and see what we get. All right, so uh, this is the little the little hole I've dug so far. It's kind of it's kind of large, but kind of small. But look at all this iron. So I've gotten a crap ton of iron. Um, so I'm gonna hello turkey. Don't stop, moment. There you go. Down. I'm gonna eat this turkey. And then I'm going to probably go and continue to mine out this and turn it into a little house. So that's the plan. Lots of digging. Uh, most of this was iron, as you'll see. Um, all right, well, I guess we'll be right back. And we're back. And I think I broke the world. Um, I've actually broken the world a lot. <laughs> That happens quite often. It looks like a portal to the to another dimension, but it's just a little hole that didn't render properly. Um, if I were to mess with some other parts of the land, it would fix. There's This happens all the time. Hopefully they'll fix it soon. All right, so we have a lot of iron. You can type up to about a thousand and then it starts freaking out. For some reason it doesn't accept it when I type more. So I'm manually doing that, I think. I think 1250 is fine. Let's just go with 1250. It's going to take me forever to get all the way up. Um, we'll order that. That'll take forever. And uh, see, I told you I got a lot of iron. Oh, and over here. Yeah, this is kind of stuck in here unless I dig my way out. This is my this is my bathroom. <laughs> There's my throne. Can't sit on it or anything. You can open it. Do you, do you store things in it? <laughs> No, it's just a tiny little, needs to be eight cubic meters. I made it 19, so I could probably shrink it down, but you need six tier one tiles. There's my six tier one tiles. I could probably just move it back and reclaim a little bit. This is my bedroom. 
It's just a little hay bed right now. Same thing, you need six tier one materials and a bed. Now, some of the mods I've installed. Here's my school, my schoolhouse. But as you can see, I get plus 75 experience at a time. So it definitely adds up. Um, yeah, this thing is just burning. <laughs> I'm creating so much iron, it's insane. And I guarantee, again, I have 407 more. I found out you, if you put more than a thousand, it gets all angry at you. But yeah, there I got several hundred iron as it is. I got more that needs to be processed. This thing is full of iron. I mean, hundreds. I don't even know what to do with it all. Uh, I wonder if this thing's causing any pollution. Oh yeah, look at that. Air pollution. Uh oh. I wonder if it sticks around if I if I turn it off. What was that? Right there. Did it show me something? Was it? it just shows me the. It says unowned blast furnace. I guess because it's not in my. Uh, I connected these two on the same claims, but I guess it's not in the the path. Yeah, no, it's not. All right, here. Let's let's make sure it's claimed. I don't want an invisible ghost to come on here and claim my stuff. Anyway, so this was my old house. Hello, go away. There we go. Which is now my workshop. Now, most likely, I will move the butchery and stuff like that over into the kitchen when I expand it in here. And this will turn into my workshop, which will be the things like the anvil and the bloomery that ruin, um, ruin your house. Uh, your house rating. See if you can see my house rating. I got a chair and a table. It gives my living room a two. My bathroom gets a one because I got a latrine. My kitchen gets a one because I got an ice box. My bedroom gets a one because I got a straw bed. And failed rooms, anvil removes whatever room that is, which is this one, my workshop. So like I said, things that ruin it, they'll go in there. I actually, I probably should figure out which ones ruin it and which ones don't. I already removed the bloomery because that was the first thing it said. Oh, did my skill point? No, they went up. I was going to say, did they go down? No, they were like 70 something, right? Yeah, so <clears throat> it does, it has living room, kitchen, first kitchen and second kitchen. So this kitchen gets points because of the butchery table and the wall shelf, which is this up here. <laughs> kind of looks a little funky. Oh, that's the block. That was odd. Let's put that back up there. Um, yeah, I mean, it gives me more points. Okay, cool. Um, but if I put this and the shelf in the other kitchen, that should enable that. And that means all of these buildings can go in that room, that over there. It's just the bloomery and the anvil that can't. So I'm not moving this, the sawmill, because it needs the power created by this thing which is moving so slowly. I, I think it would be cool if the higher it was, the more power it put out, just like a water uh, water mill, no, water wheel. If it, if it was on a river, it would produce more water. Here, it wouldn't produce any kind of thing. I haven't tried it. I mean, if it's submerged, it might produce water or power. I don't know. But, um, yeah, so I'm probably going to start moving everything over. Um, in fact... I mean, there's nothing to prevent me from doing it, right? The only thing I don't want to move, this guy has... Okay. <laughs> Let's put that in there. This guy... Did I just... There we go. The butchery... Oh! My... Did my point just go up because I got rid of the... What? What happened? Um, general room, wall shelf, one point. But now I don't have two kitchens. Somehow my points are more? I'm going to have to look at that. I'll probably check the video and see what happened. Um, this, is, this is gone. Leave that. Bring that with me. I'm going to make another research station. I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to make another one. So we're going to start putting these over here. Oh, 
I guess I could put this back down. There you go. Just drop my points. Wow. <laughs> All right, I might as well put the bloomery in here, right? I mean, you have to have, well, you don't need the bloomery. I don't think I need it anymore at all. Um, it only does, yeah, it only creates the anvil and ingots. And I use this, this little puppy over here, big puppy, to make my ingots. It's much more efficient. It creates some sky pollution, which I think is supposed to go away. But that thing's been running for hours. Um, this guy right here. Yeah, he's going to have to stay here because that's where the power is. Um, where is, oh, the bloomer is already in there. All right. Let's go, uh, yeah, and I was going to dig up the floor, but I have so much iron now. Like I showed you, it's hundreds and hundreds of iron. It's obscene, so I haven't done it. I might not do it for a while. So that's the bedroom. That's the toilet. Here's the kitchen. Nope. <laughs> Here's the kitchen. Right? Yeah, there's the kitchen. All right. Which is kind of sad and silly that I can do this this way. Still 75 points. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. Um, let's get all these down somewhere. Now the back isn't done. So I don't really want to put anything back there. There you go. Although you'd think that would pollute the house. Uh, carpentry table. I like it up here. That's one of the more. Oh, I hit the wrong button. One of the more common uh, work work tables. I guess you call them. Tailoring tables not as common. Maybe I'll put that back here. Um, masonry table. It's pretty common too. I might actually switch it with the. Yeah, let me do that. Boom. Why do you always face that way? Nobody asked you to face that way. I move this guy. The music has kicked in. It's very. Uh, I mean, I could put it that way. It looks kind of funky. I guess I could make it like a table side, an end table to this guy. Even though they're not related, they could they could look like they are. I like that. That's kind of cool. All right. So then we have that's it. That's that's all my buildings really. Any other buildings over here? I didn't get. Oh, the sun is setting. It's gonna get dark. I don't have any lights or candles or anything. Um. Let's see. Any other work tables? Work tables. Work tables. Work tables. So yeah, it's been a it's been another really busy week, man. I put in sixty or seventy hours this week. I, I got done at four o'clock yesterday on Saturday, and um, I I couldn't think straight to do much of anything. I did record the beginning of this, but my brain faded fast. So I don't see anything over here. So I haven't been able to put up any any good videos. I'm checking out Eco. I like it, especially modded. I'm I'm a collector, so. I got out these giant, this is the largest universal box. Look at this thing. It says it holds, what, 40,000 kilograms? That's a lot. <laughs> and also, I don't know, 130 blocks, I think it is. Or stacks, I guess you'd call it. Um, I don't see any other work tables in here, though. Oh, there's my stone tools. Seeds and beans. Mmm, beans. I don't. I haven't worked on my skill, my cooking skill. Um, not much. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh, look at the sun rays. That's really cool. Uh, never mind. <laughs> They're almost gone. That's really cool. What if I go up higher? Can I see them better? Does it get brighter as I go up? No. I'm not going up fast enough. I don't think. But look at the sun rays, man. This this game really has some nice, some beautiful aesthetics. It's, it's also calming, so I kind of that's why I was playing it yesterday. I was like, yeah, yeah, you have 30 days, 30 real real time days to get that meteor, but 
In single player, it's kind of slow with the skill points, so I actually uh, turned them up while I was waiting for uh, Haplo and um, ended up getting quite a bit because we were going to play together and only together and try to get it done as fast as... Wow, I can't see nothing as fast as possible. Um, so I had turned up the speed, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm very efficient at all the beginning stuff. Uh, like when I gather these things here. See, I get like seven plant fibers at a time. Uh, I think I get like ten corn and stuff like that. Um, I, when I cook, when I uh, butcher the meat, I get like uh, five per carcass, I believe. Stuff like that. I don't know what to do in the dark, man. I need to make some some light. I have power. Oh, I don't have electronics. You know what? Maybe we should look at what it takes to get some electronics. Let's get some advanced stuff going, or see if we can. I should say. So I have, I mean, other than cooking, I have that, I have that, I have that. I did get cement, the skill, but you need, I need advanced parts to actually be able to make cement. I did not get this. Um, I believe it requires sand. I didn't want to use sand. It uses a lot of sand. Um, so I didn't really want to use up the sand. I guess I could just turn stone into sand. I'm surrounded by mountains. That probably wouldn't be too bad. I don't have a cooking skill because I don't. I haven't made any of that. Um, electronic skill, but gold. I have. Let me go get some gold. Because I have copper. Gold. There you go. Twenty-five gold right there. Boom! I can only carry fourteen, <laughs> and I have the bear backpack. Wish there were some more like you could add slots to your backpack too, because I run out of slots a lot. Um. Let's learn some electronics. 30 minutes. I guess I gotta go find something to do for 30 minutes. Man, I hate that. <laughs> That's why I need another research table. Um, let's see, I got farming, I got fertilizer, I have glass working. Industry requires steel. Steel, yep. Don't have any steel. Uh, mechanics I have. Metal construction also requires steel. I have milling oil. Requires a combustion engine and reinforced concrete. Well, that's going to be a while. Um, I have all that. I don't have any advanced baking, cooking, baking, cutting edge cooking. This is all cooking related. I don't have any of that. So this is it. Electronics, I guess. Let me let me double check here. Oh, I could get. Wait, did I get advanced cook cooking? Why doesn't? If I hover over it, it should say you already know this skill. But it doesn't do that. Um, I have to go in here. Go to chef. I do not have... No. Nope, advanced campfire cooking. I do not have that. I should have learned that first. Alright. Well, let's grab that. Um, yeah, I have all their ingredients on me, so I'll just make another table. Yeah. Well, let's go make another research table in the dark. Um, I like how the moon does give light. That's pretty cool. I thought the I thought the meteor was given was given light, but that's the shadow from the pollution I'm putting out. Yeah, I need to do something about. Oh my god, it's so dark in here. All right, so this is where isn't this where I make my research table? Oh no, you know what? Oh, here's a lot of the. Uh, this is what I'm gonna fill out. Like. There's a lot of modded stuff. The green stuff is modded. So I got a bedroom drawer, elegant kitchen chair. Is it elegant? Does it give two points? No, there's one point. Uh, regular kitchen chair also gives one point. Rounded coffee table, simple desk, small rounded. So there's a lot of stuff added. And there's the wall shelf again. So it's this uh, workbench, the initial workbench. That's where I make my research table I gotta add some potted plants let's get these points up because technically I mean I'm plus 75 but that is three skill points out of 50 so I could really get it up to probably a hundred uh, a thousand maybe yeah maybe a thousand now that I think about it because I'm three out of 50 so 
30 out of 50 would put this at 750. Yeah, probably about a 1,000. So we need to work on our rooms. Um, I know I'm not all energetic like I normally am, but this game is relaxing and I kind of need that. So, so uh, kind of enjoying that. Although when Pixar comes out next week, I might be jumping into that too because that... I've been waiting for that. That looks like a lot of fun. My kids are going to love it. You, you might have a, see all of us running around like crazy. So we'll see what happens. Um, let's make this research table. I need wood and stone. I think I just need to connect some boxes here. There's no wood in these boxes. Wow. Am I running out of wood? See, and that's the thing. Nothing has that, that great of a range. There you go. There's wood. So, that's one of the problems. Everything is separated like this. Um, so I would need a work room that, you know, that would house all the, the stuff that ruins your order. There you go. So, I mean, I might do that, but we'll see. I still got a lot of digging to do. We'll be right back. Ha-ha! I actually remembered I started the campfire cooking. I guess I just never did anything with it. What else we got in here? Paper milling. I'm pretty sure I got that one. Let's take a look. I believe that's under smithing. No. Mason. Yeah. Let's see. Milling. No. Where is it? Is it carpentry? Yeah. There it is. I learned it. I just never put points in it. Let's get all the recipes unlocked. And let's go to cooking. Grab that campfire cooking, get all them recipes. All right, so we are on our way. I might unlock these. How many points is that? It's only two points higher each. That one's two each. That's nice. All right, what was the other one? No, it wasn't under mason. Carpentry. Paper milling. I mean, I don't have a need for it. It's only a couple points. Let's just max it out. So that's nice. Um, but this thing's still got 23 minutes. So I did move the, new, the research table over here. Oh, hello, turtle. Man, I could wish I could tame the turtle. Put a saddle on it, ride it. Wait, this isn't Pixar or Ark. Anyway, <laughs> we're going to call it right here, guys. Um, well, I had a great time. Nice, relaxing time. Still really dark. Um, but... I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know I had a great time. So if you did, please hit that like button. Maybe tap that bell. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. And have a great day. Elucidus out.